Hello, this is Stiv to Slava with another video in my series about the orchestra library. I realize that some of these topics may be extremely simplistic to you who are in the business of orchestra libraries or in the orchestra world. However, the purpose is to show other people something about the workings of the orchestra library, something about the backstage goings on, how we do things. And that's what my goal is. Thanks for watching. After the concert is over, we have to break down the folders, which means taking all the music out and assembling it in uh, groups by title so that we are putting the sets back together. With a little practice you can get pretty good at this. Now that that's over, I've got to go through each set of parts checking carefully that each part is accounted for and is returned. Sometimes people keep their music after the concert is over, in spite of the fact they're probably not going to be playing it again. And we want to have everything in order. As you see there, I'm rearranging a couple of things. The sets are in score order. Now when I break down the folders, I do it in reverse order. I start with the basses and go up through the string section, percussion, brass, and woodwinds. And the last folder would be the flutes. That way my stacks of music come out in order. Here you can see I'm going through and checking each one. There's a little number up in the corner there that lets me know uh, that the parts are in order. Now here I've found something with this part. There's a an extra page taped on there. Uh, this was put in apparently for a uh, page turn or some situation. Um, and it's coming apart so briefly I'm just making uh, a little repair to that part this is another aspect of checking through the music if there are minor uh, repairs that need to be made this is a good time to do that the next thing I do is I take some trash paper there and I'm gonna cut it into long strips on the guillotine cutter and you'll see why I'm doing this in a moment so now they're all uh, it's cut into strips and I'm going to take these strips back and um, I'm going to use those strips to wrap up the parts that I've just checked for completeness and I'm also going to put in one of those green program sheets that's the list of the program so the next time that I take this music out I'll be able to see when it was last played and what other pieces were on the program and see there I'm making a, a paper strap to uh, keep that group uh, together. I'm going to continue to do this until I have all the parts um, 
wrapped up neatly with a program sheet. Now I'm going to get all of the extra music, all the music that was not used, that is some scores, that is I've got extra string parts, extra wind parts, but I want to keep those all together. Each title will be um, in an envelope unto itself with all the extra music and the performance material. Put it in an envelope and now it's ready to be filed back in the main collection. Here I'm looking to see all the extra music that goes with a certain piece. Now I get the performance set, put the two together, get the envelope, and uh, put the music in the envelope. Again, I have to go through all of this for all the pieces. Then the next thing I do is I go to the computer and enter in the performance records uh, that apply to all of those pieces on that program. And uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. This is Stiv Toslava.